The final weekend of the rodeo can be bittersweet for anybody, but this year even more so for Fred Whitfield. He's been performing at rodeos for decades, and tonight was his final ride. Levi Ismail shares his story. Slow it down and you think, yeah, maybe I could do it too. But in tie down roping, when every second counts, these hands are the best of the best. Got my work cut out for me tonight because there's 12 of the best guys in the, in the world roping tonight. For an eight time world champion, you'd figure there's nothing new about any of this for Fred Whitfield. Well, you'd be wrong. I actually don't have a horse anymore. I don't actually own a horse for the first time in probably 30 plus years that I don't actually own my own horse. Whitfield hasn't been in a professional rodeo in nearly a year. This invitation meant to return to doing what he loves, competing for a title one last time. It'd be a nice way to go out, but if it doesn't happen, I'm not going to be real disappointed. You know, I've, I've managed to compete all over the country and have all the success that a guy could ever dream of. Under these lights on this stage, Whitfield has done it all. A cowboy who overcame humble beginnings to go on to become one of the most accomplished riders and one of few African Americans to do it. It means the world to me, honestly. You know, I, I've brought in countless fans, whether they be African American, white, Asian. Um, you know, my legacy is going to live on for a long time with what I've done in the sport of rodeo. That's the thing that makes me the most proud. One last ride to a storied career. What better way to end it than here at home? Levi Ismail, KHOU 11 News. What a career.